Hi, I'm Josh Yenny with Homespun Instructional Videos, and today's lesson is called A Six Pack of Tony Rice Licks. So with Tony's blessing, I've gone through and I've grabbed a handful of really cool phrases. Um, they're in a few different chord shapes, uh, a few different keys, but of course you can move them around to any key. Once you, uh, It's good to learn the actual phrasing because it's just brilliant, but of course we can move the phrases to different parts of the bar or whatever suits your fancy once you learn them. Um, some of these are done at absolutely inhuman speeds because it's Tony, uh, but our backing tracks that you get with the video, they start really slow. So slow to pretty dang fast, and of course... Okay, so this first lick is over G. Uh, it's from uh, Tony's uh, version of On and On. Uh, and it is just using a bunch of the cool little bluegrass intervals here. So we're going to start here on the third string, third fret, uh, and we're going to slide from three to four, and then we're going to play it open. So that's my minor third to my major third of the chord. Okay, so here it is slow. So this comes from Tony's version of Gold Rush. Uh, really cool lick. It's out of our G shape, so of course you can put it in any key, but he's doing it in A, so keep on on the second fret here. Uh, you'll hear that the, the intro is a pickup, so um, you know, again, you can put this in any place you want once you learn it, but he's picking up into it. That's our downbeat, right? So it's one, two, three. Okay. So what we're doing is we're hammering on, uh, and I'm going to talk relative to the capo here, obviously. First fret above the capo. To the third fret above the capo. And it's pretty big, so I'm playing like all down picks, but you know, whatever you want to do. If you want to alternate, that's fine. Uh, and, you know, it gives it a little added. Okay, so now we're in a different place. I got my capo on the third fret. This is from Ain't Nobody Gonna Miss Me When I'm Gone. This song's actually in B flat. This is over the four chord. So we're on our C shape here. Uh, our one chord would be the G shape, obviously. Uh, you know, the kind of the cool thing about bluegrass is even when it's the, you know, the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, you can kind of, kind of approach them in a lot of the same way with a lot of the same intervals. So. And we play our second fret of the G. Then we play our high octave C there, right? So just straight up that, and that's a quintessential lick that I'm sure a lot of you already know. Okay, then we come down. Okay, here it is a bit faster, and I'll do some variations on these positions. <laughs> 